One of the most common questions I get in response to the video I made about reversing fatty liver disease is, should you take milk thistle for your liver health? Well, it's a popular supplement and many recommend it in the treatment of fatty liver as well as the treatment of insulin resistance and diabetes. And in this video, I'll give you all the information that you need to know to determine if milk thistle is the right medicine for you. And I'm gonna break down the latest evidence supporting its use. I'm also gonna go over the best way to take it. And at the end of the video, I'll go over important safety parameters for those taking Taking milk thistle and I'll go over its toxicity profile. Hi, I'm Dr. Leonid Kim and on this channel I discuss the most up-to-date and evidence-based information on the topics of weight loss, metabolic health, and longevity. Let's get into it. Milk thistle has been used medicinally in Europe for centuries and it was used in the treatment of liver, gallbladder, spleen, and kidney diseases. And there's even records of it being used for snake bites. The active ingredient in milk thistle is silymarin, which is extracted from the dried seeds and fruits of the Silymarin marianum plant that is native to the Southern European and Mediterranean regions. Silymarin contains a mixture of flavonoids and polyphenols, and these compounds are known antioxidants, which is how some speculate it helps in restoring liver health. In addition to the antioxidant properties, it's also antifibrotic, which helps in liver cell regeneration. It also modulates your immune system and helps prevent inflammation that drives a lot of the damage seen in fatty liver disease. Now this all sounds convincing in theory, but the clinical evidence, especially evidence that is based on human trials, is a little muddy and a lot less clear. Years ago, milk thistle was investigated in many clinical studies in patients with alcohol-related disease and the findings were just all over the place. First, I wanna highlight a poll analysis of five studies published in 2001 that showed a significant reduction in liver-related mortality in patients treated with silymarin when compared to placebo, with a mortality rate of 4.9% per year in the treatment group versus 9.3% per year in the placebo group. In a follow-up Cochrane review that looked at 18 randomized controlled trials involving patients with alcohol-related or viral liver disease, found that compared to placebo, milk thistle significantly reduced liver-related mortality in all review trials, but not when the analysis was limited to high-quality trials. So we do need larger-scale studies to see if the mortality benefit actually holds up. Some speculate that in a lot of the studies where milk thistle did not show mortality benefit, those studies included too many patients with severe and end-stage irreversible liver disease to where it would be difficult to demonstrate a benefit of mortality. If you take the studies to look at liver function itself, milk thistle consistently demonstrated a reduction in liver enzyme levels, like an ALT or AST, compared with placebo. In an older, but a double-blind, randomized study in 97 patients with mild alcohol liver disease showed that treatment with silymarin for four weeks resulted in a significantly greater improvement in liver function when compared to placebo. There was another 12-month randomized control study that looked at 60 people with alcohol cirrhosis and diabetes and found that treatment with silymarin at 600 milligrams per day significantly reduced hemoglobin A1C levels as well as exogenous insulin requirements in the treatment group. Now, when it comes to the use of silymarin in the treatment of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, we have small studies that show that treatment with silymarin produced a decrease in transaminase or liver function levels and also showed a significant improvement in biometric parameters like a decrease in abdominal circumference and decrease in a BMI. The treatment group also noted improvement in liver health when measured by ultrasound. And there was another study that looked specifically at a population with NASH or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or a more advanced stage of fatty liver. This study was a 48-week double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled trial that showed that treatment with silymarin at 2100 milligrams per day resulted in a statistically significant reduction in fibrosis. However, no statistically significant difference was reached for the primary endpoint of the study, which was a 30% improvement from baseline NAFLD activity score, which is a tool that is used to grade the severity of fatty liver disease. So overall, looking at all of the studies together, there seems to be a small benefit in using milk thistle in mild liver disease or early stages of fatty liver disease. However, there doesn't seem to be any strong evidence to suggest any benefit in more advanced stages of liver disease, like NASH or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or cirrhosis. Finally, when it comes to safety, milk thistle seems to be pretty well tolerated and only minor adverse events were reported 
mostly things like headaches, diarrhea, and nausea. And in clinical trials, milk thistle was well tolerated at doses of up to 420 milligrams per day for up to four years. And in one study, it was well tolerated at doses of up to 2100 milligrams per day for up to 48 weeks. But as always, please talk to your doctor before taking this or any other supplement to make sure it's safe in your individual situation. So where do I stand in recommending milk thistle to my patients? Well, looking at the totality of the evidence available, I don't believe we have enough data for me to recommend it to my patients with fatty liver or other liver diseases. But the small studies we do have have shown a trend toward improvement in liver function, especially if it started in the early stages of liver disease. Also, milk thistle seems to be relatively safe for most people. So even though I don't routinely recommend it, I also wouldn't tell most of my patients to stop it unless I'm worried about interaction with other medications. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried milk thistle and if you found it to be helpful. And if you have had success with it, what brand do you recommend? I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.